And now, your East Texas Storm Team forecast. Welcome back to East Texas Live. We are tossing things over to meteorologist Andrew Samet for a quick look at the forecast. Hey, Andrew. Hello, Corinne. Another hot and humid day in store for us for our day on Tuesday. But, of course, we have uh, been used to that forecast now for a while. Taking a look at Longview with our Skyview camera, we are seeing a few passing clouds out there late this morning. And we'll continue to see some passing clouds throughout the day. The temperature is just a degree shy of 90 now in Longview with the dew point in the lower 70s. We've got a south-southwest wind at 11 miles per hour over in Longview. Temperatures right now around the rest of the area, we've reached the 90 degree mark in Sulphur Springs and in Mount Pleasant. That's at 91. The rest of us are in the upper 80s out there. Some mid 80s towards Athens and Palestine, but also some 90s back out towards our west in Corsicana and into Dallas. Taking a look at your low level moisture, this is the dew point temperatures. They're in the upper 60s to low to mid 70s, indicating that the air is quite humid uh, late this morning, and that will be the case as we head throughout the day, especially into deep east Texas. So here's a look at what we, what it feels like as as you step out the door. This is the air temperature combined with the humidity, making it feel like 99 in Hemp Hill and in Lufkin. Feels like 95 right now in Tyler. Feels like 97 in Longview. Feels like 99 in Mount Pleasant and Crockett. So it is a, a humid afternoon, and by 4 o'clock this afternoon, here's a look at what we can expect in terms of peak heat index values. Uh, they look to be around 105 at the most, although they could be slightly higher, uh, potentially as high as 107. Uh, the higher uh, heat index values will likely be more in our northeastern counties, like uh, in places like Marshall, up towards Linden, maybe even Mount Pleasant as well. Uh, Futurecast may be underdoing these heat index values just a little bit for us into the afternoon hours. For today, though, on recap, we top out around 100 degrees. Factoring in the humidity, again, the heat index will be around 105 uh, degrees this afternoon. So continue to take those uh, necessary heat precautions. We will have a decent south wind at around 10 miles per hour. Taking a look at the latest burn bans, new counties have been added as of late in the past. Last uh, couple of hours, Smith, Rusk, and Nacogdoches counties now underneath a burn ban. So uh, they continue to increase out there as drought conditions continue to persist. The latest drought monitor looks like this across the area. Now, this area that I'm circling right here did see a decent amount of rainfall this past weekend. I know places like Mount Enterprise picked up almost over five inches of rain or over five inches of rain in some places. So I do expect improvement in the next drought monitor that will be released on Thursday. But in our western and northwestern counties especially, I do think the drought will only look to increase, unfortunately for places like Athens, Canton, and then maybe even into Sulphur Springs as well as the dry air uh, continues to push on through. Here's a look at your seven-day forecast. We'll see some pop-up showers and storms returning for your day on a Thursday, and then we will see those storm, small storm chances continuing through the weekend. Saturday, the warmest day of the next seven with a high temperature around 103 degrees. For deep east Texas, it is more of the same, although we could see a pop-up shower or storm potentially as early as Wednesday, lasting through the weekend, and then rain chances will increase heading into Saturday and for your day on Sunday. For your latest weather forecast, you can head on over to KGK.com.